citizens of the internet, welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm Ashley Eskeva. I'm Jeff Kanata. Hold on to your socks. It's time for headlines. Some of Earth's biggest minds want to send spacecraft at a fraction of the speed of light to their nearest star system. They're calling it Starshot. Famous cosmologist Stephen Hawking and investor Yuri Milner unveiled a plan to send tiny nanocraft into outer space. Those nanocrafts would use light sails and a ground-based light beamer to propel themselves up to 100 million miles an hour, or 20% of the speed of light. That would make the four-year light trip to Alpha Centauri take about 20 years, which is a much quicker trip than traditional spacecraft, which would take about 30,000 years. Hawking stressed the need to look to the stars because Earth, quote, might not last forever, unquote. That's pretty cool, but how long will it take to get information from those spacecraft back to us? About 30,000 years. That's no, too long. Know. That's too long for the info. We'll have a really to, cool idea. We'll have to do some research on that. Hey, street art may be changing forever with an introduction of a smart spray can. This motion sensing spray can was developed by a team at Dartmouth University. This invention allows for large scale replication of images without any skill on the part of the artist. Two webcams and a cube with QR markers keep track of the can's motion and position relative to the wall, and an algorithm controls how much paint is released and where as the painter moves the can along the wall. The team responsible for the cans has its kind of a modern spray paint by numbers. It's spray paint by numbers! You don't need any artistic skill to be able to make a giant street art mural. That's amazing. I guess that's really cool. I guess that's cool. I feel like... I like the idea of wanting to be a really good artist and yeah. maybe this, but really are you the good artist or is it the spray paint can? I don't know. I mean, if it's, it, is it now, is it just a fax machine or a, like just a copy a, machine? Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Just a live copy machine. I said machine. fax you, machine, like you're people the use machine. those. You're the machine. You're the copy machine. It's yeah. interesting stuff. Pretty I don't cool. Know. Which, Which one do you think we should talk about? Um, I'm kind of intrigued by both of them. Uh, these are pretty good stories today. I, I think it's got to be Starshot. I yeah. feel like we got to talk about getting into the next star system over at 20% the speed of light. That's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing to think that we could actually explore that far into our into our galaxy is pretty wild. I'm so interested. let's talk about it on Thursday. Yes. You can be a part of that conversation by using our hashtag Hey TD. Yeah, and if we like your tweets, we'll put them in Thursday's show. But you got to tweet fast because we're we got some scheduling stuff. So <laughs> tweet it quickly. Tweet right now. Uh, that being said, let's check out our photographer of the day. Today's photographer of the day is Osmar, who took this picture with his iPhone 6S Plus. Yeah, Osmar writes and says, Hello, Ashley and Jeff. My name is Osmar, and you have my permission to use this picture of my wife and I. We are at the Cloud Gate Sculpture in Chicago, a.k.a. the Chicago Bean. A friend of ours took this photo on my iPhone 6S Plus, and boy, were we surprised with how well it came out, especially since the weather kept switching from snowing to sunny. I hope you show it for your April Monuments and Points of Interest theme. Love the show. Watch it all the time. You're a fan from Purdue University, Osmar Lopez. And then he says, my first, he tells us how to pronounce his first name, but I thought this was cool. His name is a combination of his mom and dad's names, Oscar and Martha. And also, because his name's Martha, his mom's name is Martha, he also has something in common with Batman and Superman. Yeah. It's pretty great. Hey, I have a, my own version of that exact picture. I've, I've stood in that exact spot and taken that exact picture along with thousands of others. I love that so much. Yeah. Uh, if you guys want to send in your landmarks, monuments, and points of interest pictures this month, email them to tomorrow at cnet.com. Yeah, make sure you tell us which device you use to take the picture. Give us a pronunciation of your name. I, we really very much appreciate that. We do. Uh, give us permission to use it on the show. And we always love a little story about why you took that picture. We're also everywhere on social media. And if you want to share the show with a friend to give the gift of Tomorrow Daily, you can send them to tomorrowdaily.com. It'll send you right to our show page on CNET. Uh, that is it for us today. We will be back tomorrow with Clayton Snyder. Ooh, fun, fun, fun interview with Clayton. Fun guy, uh, actor, all around cool guy. Yeah. Friend of producer Logan. Indeed. Um, we're going to do that tomorrow. We also have a lot of interesting conversations that we're going to have. So, until then. Be good humans. Bye, guys. Oh. 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 Oh.